the Buddha taught three types of merit, merit-making activities, which he said are another word for happiness. In other words, they produce happiness and the activity themselves. These are happy activities. The act of being generous, the act of observing the precepts, and the act of developing thoughts of goodwill. These are all good things to do. Even if you don't worry about the future results, they're good in the present moment. But then the Buddha said it's good not only in the present moment, but well into the future. So to learn how to appreciate this, I was talking last night to a group online. This one woman said she was just starting to make a practice of generosity. And she'd been meditating for many years, which seems out of balance. All three activities should go together for complete happiness, because developing thoughts of goodwill is the motivation for why you would be generous and why you would be virtuous to begin with. You have goodwill for yourself, goodwill for others. And you simply want to make that more and more universal, so there are no gaps in your goodness. So think of all the living beings that are out there, the people you like, the people you don't like, animals you like, animals you don't like. Living beings, you have no idea what they are. As the Buddha said, the seen and the unseen. Think of everybody being happy. Now, how would they be happy? They would be happy by doing the activities that lead to happiness. In other words, they're not going to become happy simply because you wish them to. But you tell yourself, okay, I'd like to see this person act in ways that are skillful. And this is the best attitude you should have toward people you don't like. People you know personally, people you know through the media. There are a lot of people out there that it's hard, hard to like based on what they're doing right now. And so you're not wishing ill on them. And you're not wishing for them to see punishments. You're wishing them for them to get it, have a change of heart, to see the error of their ways, and to change voluntarily. Because it's voluntary change that is the most likely to last. So think thoughts like that as you're dealing with the people around you, as you're learning about people out in the world. Just think, may, if you're doing something unskillful right now, you, may you see the error of your ways and may you change. And have that attitude toward everybody. Because then you can learn how to trust yourself more. You're more likely to be generous with other people. You're more likely to be strict with yourself and your precepts. If you're motivated by the wish that all beings be happy, including the beings that are getting in your way. And when you can trust yourself like this, that's when your practice is on a good, solid foundation. And it's a happy foundation. The ability to trust yourself gives you a nice sense of security inside. And that's an important part of the happiness that comes from doing the activities that are meritorious. A lot of us in the West don't like the word merit. You can switch the word goodness if you want. Let's do some goodness. May sound a little strange, but maybe there's something wrong with us that that sounds strange. Because doing goodness is something that human beings show that they really are human beings. And it's one of the genuine types of happiness in the human world.